Okay, so I've been experimenting a lot with the Raspberry Pi 5 running PS2. I did a video a while ago on how to install PS2 emulator. It was the first one that was around for Raspberry Pi 5. And PS2 games are very hit and miss as to whether they run well or not. But I found a few tweaks that definitely help. So first up is the desktop resolution. So you can see here display settings. Uh, I'm running at 720 by 576. Now I didn't used to bother overclocking, but uh, as these two tweaks have definitely improved certain games, that little extra tweak that you get from overclocking is definitely worth it. So if we have a look, uh, I've got arm frequency set to 3000 and force underscore turbo equals one. I haven't bothered on the GPU because it didn't seem to make much difference, but I'll show why in a minute. It might do to some games to be fair. So if I launch the PS2, which is this one, this is the last version that was made for ARM on Linux. And you can see I've got several games in here. Now, one of my favorite games of all time is Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX, and this at the standard settings. So the game starts up fine and all the menus seem to be working all right, but if we go into ProQuest and just start a game, even the menus here, no slowdown at all. You can see at the bottom it says we're running Vulkan, and this bit goes really slow. It's much quicker on GameCube. GameCube uses OpenGL, uh, but OpenGL doesn't seem to work with this. It just crashes the system. I've cut a bit out because that bit takes ages. Looks all right here, but as soon as you start the game, it's just awful, and it, and it actually runs like this. But if you press the magic button, which is F9, the game is transformed and works absolutely fine. So you can see I've changed no other setting, uh, so this game with Vulkan is just completely unplayable, but as soon as I change it to software renderer with the F9 button, which is basically switching between the renderers, uh, it's fine. It's running at 50 FPS, it's not slowing down, it is absolutely perfect. Now, it's not always the same with all the games, uh, because if we play Spider-Man, that's actually different to this, but I have made this game now completely playable and it's absolutely fine and I'm very happy because it's such a great game but if we quit out of that and we go for Spider-Man 3 and I can load the state because I've already played a bit of this now this is still oh this is picked Vulcan right okay so you can see it switched over to Vulcan and this is working fine I'm guessing it probably should run at 60 FPS but it's not struggling at all there's a couple of villains on the screen and it's uh it's letting me move around and yeah, the environment's not struggling at all. But if I press F9, which was the magic button before, it drops a lot. So we've gone right down to what, 29 FPS? And it just, yeah, it's just not enjoyable anymore. So again, press F9, that will switch the renderer back to Vulkan. And Vulkan with this particular game works really, really well. And if I just press escape, because the other tip that sometimes keeps getting suggested is under graphics. And if we scroll down just a little bit, there is hardware download mode. Uh, and some people say to turn on unsynchronized, but as you can see for, for Spider-Man, it's absolutely fine, doesn't need it really. It's, uh, it's playable as it is. I would quite happily play that game uh, at that FPS. Now I did play around with uh, Burnout and I can't get it to work. Whatever setting I tried, it is known to be a very hard one to run. Uh, Grand Theft Auto worked before anyway, um, so it was one of the games I showed kind of early on. But let's see what difference we get switching between these modes. Have I got a save state? If you press Alt and S, it gets you up to this mode and we can go load state. I have a load slot. There you go. So what are we looking at? 25, 26 FPS, which I think this is supposed to run at this. Yeah, that's running absolutely fine. That's running in software mode again. So let's skip around here. Do a bit of a skid. Yeah, all of that. It's It feels really nice to play. It's not struggling at all. Uh, if I press F9, and this puts us into... Oh, well, that says software mode now. Still 25 FPS. Feels a bit more choppy though. It's 
Still feels alright though. Let's try it again. F9. So back to Vulcan. Yeah, so this game, in both modes, seems to run fine. And we don't need to do that hardware hack because, yeah, it's just not struggling. So let's quit out of that and try something else. As I say, some games just seem to run really well. Others are awful. Uh, downhill mountain biking was always really good uh, and I haven't had to change any of the settings. Actually, Shadow of the Colossus was one that definitely struggled and maybe with my software tip and also the hardware one, we might get some better performance. Now, have I got a save state on this? So, Alt and S and load. No, I haven't. Okay, let's press escape to go back into that. Okay, one FPS. Okay, let's try it. Uh, F9. Oh, in fact, has it crashed? Yeah, it has crashed. I think the whole system's crashed, actually. Yeah, everything's crashed. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to switch off and switch on again. Okay, so let's try it again. But let's turn on that hardware hack. Let's press escape right at the start. Go to settings, graphics, hardware download mode. Let's go unsynchronized. And we're on Vulcan at the moment, so we're gonna leave it on that. Because I don't think it was on Vulcan before. 60 FPS on the uh, loading screen. Oh, that's working better. Although it still, it says what, 16, 15. If we can get just into the game and then we can try and switch that mode. Oh, one FPS. Is it gonna let me? I'm gonna try and do the F9. Switching to software renderer. Okay, well that made a big difference because we went from one to 15 FPS. Yeah, so that, that's definitely running really slow. Let's try F9. Turn on Vulcan. Yeah, so, okay, so Vulcan definitely breaks this game. F9. Then switches back, and you can see it's made quite a big difference, but it's still unplayable. And what setting have we got here? There's so many settings on here, but I've found not many that actually make a difference. But if you've got any tips, please leave them in the comments. So hardware download mode. So that was unsynchronized. Let's go for disabled and see if that does it. Sometimes that completely stops the game work. Yeah, that's that doesn't work at all. And actually Vulcan's come back on. So F9. Okay, back on software, yeah. Disabled is worse. And I did see somewhere in here there was hotkeys, yeah. So let's see if that hardware bit has its own so that's save states. Because that's where I found the F9. Cycle hardware MIP mapping. What's that on? Keyboard insert. Keyboard insert. Well, we can give it a try. So escape. Back to the game. And insert. MIP mapping off. Basic. Full. Ah, uh, no, it's not the same setting. And we'll go, we'll go back to accurate because that worked well on Dave Mirror. And again, it switches back to Vulcan, look. So, F9 to switch it back to software. Yeah, okay, so this is one of those games that definitely is going to be unplayable. Or at least until we get maybe some better Vulcan or OpenGL drivers working. Trouble is, this is an emulator that isn't being worked on. So we're kind of stuck with it as is. Uh, and it only really seems to work in Ubuntu. Everything else fails to run it. But it's worth knowing about the GameCube emulator Dolphin because it was around about the same time as PS2 and some of the games definitely run way better on that. So if you're trying to get, play a game on PS2 and you can't play it, just see if there is a version for Dolphin. So here's Prince of Persia, which I think really didn't load at all for me before. So I'm gonna try it with software, so F9. Nothing seems to be happening. So I'm gonna try that hardware one. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. So it is just hit and miss. Um, some games do and don't work. Obviously there's loads of settings to toggle through, but let me know if you've got any tips for any particular games that you've had running. Uh, it will definitely help others in the comments. I'm just happy I've got Dave Mirror working again. So let's end on something that works on most things, uh, which is the downhill Domination. In fact, let's see which one's best, Vulcan or software. Okay, let's get straight into a race. Again, the audio's fine. Yeah, that 
it's fine. Well, it's a, it's a solid 60, that. It's not struggling with that. And that's on Vulcan. But then if I do F9, let's see what happens. Oh, it slows it down. Yeah, it really is hard to work out quite why it is. But maybe it's some element or, you know, some sort of graphical technique that they're using on certain games that the Vulcan just gets tripped up on. But again, F9, and I'm back in, and I'm at 60 FPS, and it looks great. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.